Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to create the footprint of an IC in Allegro. So, first we, the well, first thing we need to do is get the data sheet of the component and find out its mechanical dimensions. In this case, we are looking at a wind bond IC with part number W25Q64BV and this uh, its footprint shows this figure which with all the dimensions listed out and based upon that we have extracted most important informations the pitch which is the distance between two pins its length and all these things so based upon this information we need to find out what will be the size of the pad of for each pin and if you have not followed my earlier tutorial you can look at the tutorial called smt pad creation where we had created a pad with size 24 by 86 and once we have created this pad we need to place these pads at these eight positions at these given dimensions and then for example we will place the first pin for example at 0 0 then since the pitch which is the separation between these two pins is 50 mils we are going to place it at 50 mils uh, another dimension that we need is what will be the separation between center pin of this to the center pin of this because once we have placed these four pins this one will need the information where we need to find out the separation of the center of this pin to the center of these pins so let's start doing this process so in this case this dimension the center to center pin spacing is 204 mils so uh, let's let's start to let's see how the things work out in allegro we go to file and we create a new and we new create a new package symbol now the process is a little more intelligent with package symbol wizard but i will suggest that you you make it without this wizard first and then learn how to make it using the wizard if they are the number of pins are quite large the package symbol wizard it works pretty well but we have only eight pins we can manually place each of those eight pins at the desired location and we should be good one of the things that we need to be careful about the giving the right directory for example in this case we have just used the directory in which our project lies and give the the package symbol the same name that you gave in your R or cat schematic design for example let's say make it a name soic8 so we get a new uh, new design and if you carefully see we have the center here if you want we can zoom it a little bit so we see a little the center more clearly and then we go on to place the pin so we go to layout pins and in the options we click on the options on the right hand side and then we search for the pad stack that we created so our pad stack was 24 by 86 rack and then we go to the if you want you can zoom it a little more and then place it you can give this command x 0 0 and then one thing you want to make sure is in the options make sure that it's uh, pin number is 1 and so 
otherwise it will you will get a different pin number so if you click x00 you get a you got your first pin placed right here you can zoom and check it here like this so here we have the first pin to place the second pin make sure you have pin number 2 here so you go ahead and write x50 and then the third pin x100 and the fourth pin at 100 50 0 the fifth pin we saw that the separation is 204 mil so we go and give a command x 204 this is the x x um, no sorry x is 150 and then the y we need to give 204 and then we continue the process x 100 y 204 x 50 y 50 y 204 and then x 0 y 204 so that way we have placed all the uh, and then all the eight components that we had to so if you want you can zoom it like this make it at the center there are two more things we need to do uh, to complete this one is we need to include its uh, reference designation we can do that by going to the layout labels reference designation just click somewhere and give it a name uh, something like uh, u question mark so that will make it if you don't give it it won't save it will give some kind of error the last thing we want to do but that is not the least that's the minimum amount of the thing you need to do there are a couple of more things that we can worry about later but for now just add a line on its uh, on its silk screen so that you know where the pins pin number one stands so you go to package geometry and uh, silk screen top make line with something bigger like three or four mils maybe three mils is good enough and then you start routing oops we need to set the right grid otherwise it won't allow you to place the place the lines as possible we set all the non-edge grids to 5 now it allows me to create uh, maybe we can increase the line width to let's say 5 so it looks a little too thin so we go right now I'm not worrying about worrying about the exact dimension I just uh, I'm just creating an outline but you may check its data sheet and make sure that it is according to its data sheet uh, you can see how this is angled one just to just to uh, make sure that this shows the pin number one once you do that you can you're going to just save it as soic dot dra dra and in the process it will also create a um, create a PSM file. So basically, you need three files: a pad file, DRA file, and PSM file to complete the footprint. So now, if if you open your BRD file, and if the footprint name and the footprint name given in the ORCID file they match, you should be able to place the component. Hope this helps you. Thanks for taking a look.